because Man, y'all, this ain't no joke, man. We replaced the tire already. Look at that, brand new tire. Look at that, you guys. Brand new tire. But she's in there, you know. Brand new, we got this brake. I ain't complaining, you guys. Man, y'all, this ain't no joke, man. We replaced the tire. I'm not complaining. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Quirty Birdie. But yeah, um, oh, we just replaced the tire. It took us about two hours to replace. I was gonna go live, you guys, um, doing it like the process of me going live with it. But honestly, you guys, I need to be like focused, fully focused, cause my time right now. Is like really slim to fix this tire, and look at that. Look how super 
It's crazy though. Three by three by ten. Three by ten. We also, if you guys notice, we paint stripe. This is something like mechanic do does for like heavy machinery. That's where I got it from. Thank you, Fendi. We got sound. Yeah, we got paint stripes to let us know on like every weekly maintenance, every bi-weekly maintenance to see if these are off. If this screw is off from this paint stripe, that means it's loose. So we got a clear visual. We also got the the split rim screw as well. We got a paint stripe. Because, you know, this was a major issue. This nut right here. I was looking at Apollo's um tutorial, how to, re how to uh, take it out. They said this is an 18 millimeter, but there's not no 18, 18 millimeter. Torque stripe. There we go. Thank you, Frontier. Yeah, my brain is fried, bro. I've been up since 7 in the morning, straight from work, to do, to do this. <laughs> but I'm freaking tired, you guys. This took me a, a lot of pain, man. And the, the biggest pain in the butt was this. I'm going to show you guys right now. You see that little screw right there, you guys? It clamps and holds the hub motor cable. That goes in the deck. You guys, you see, you guys, you see the, the torque stripes? I ain't playing with the torque stripes. <laughs> Cause these things, these, these high performance scooters, man, they vibrate like crazy. And over time, they tend to go loose. But as you guys can see, the quality of the video, um, we're not in the studio performance live. We are on our phone. I'm um, using data plan right now. So if you guys are wondering, wh where is the old tire? Let me get the old tire for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And look at this. Look at this setup, you guys. I know a lot of people are going to sending hug and kisses, XO. Likewise, likewise, hug and kisses. Back at ya. Oh, man. All right, so you guys notice... The scooter weighs 77 pounds, advertised. But, you know, when you, once you pick it up, it doesn't weigh 77 pounds. For me, it feels like more than, more like 60. We have it on a stool, and we have a ratchet strap. Again, you guys, this is a normal kitchen, kitchen chair. If it could hold my 200-pound ass, it's obviously going to hold a scooter. Um, the big factor is once you, you know... Move this wheel, the whole thing is gonna shake. You see that? That's why we gotta have to tote the tote strap right here. Um, that's no joke, you guys, because this whole thing is gonna shake when you, when you're applying force to remove these lug nuts. If that makes sense. Um, I thought you guys we was going to a, like use the heat gun, cause in the Dortron, on the Dortron models, you guys on the Dortron Eagle Pro Mini Motors. They love using Loctite for the for the um, for the rim screws. F fortunately for us, it was really easy to remove these um, screws. But once we put it back, we put Loctite on it. We put Loctite on these and a little bit on the on, on these right here. I'll be in, I'll be at NYC PEV tomorrow from twelve to eight. All right, cool man. I'm gonna be at uh, Mini Motors. Uh, we're gonna be at Mini Motors, Rican and I, tomorrow. Um, we don't know what exactly time. We're gonna do some shooting over there. So maybe we'll go to NYC PEV as well because we're around the area. I know, I think NYC PEV has some beef with the Mini Motors around Chinatown. I don't know. Hopefully everything is resolved from there. Yeah, but um, we replaced the tire, you guys. We finally did it. Um, these are the tools that I use basically, the main tools that I use, some T-bars, we use, I love this, I love this tool right here, you guys, I love this drill gun right here, Makinita, um, a lot of people like using, um, Milwaukee, no knock on Milwaukee, I have Milwaukee, but I have an impact drill Milwaukee, I have just a regular, um, screw gun, 
Makinita. Well, the reason why I go with Makinita, you guys, is because I am not torquing these with the with the gun. I'm 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 usually going by hand. But what I do is I loosen it up by hand and then I I take it out with the gun. But anyways, the reason why I like this gun, you guys, is because number one, it's super light, super light, and it's durable too. By the way, invest in those bits, you guys. Invest in Allen bits. You guys gotta need those, man. And then, of course, we got the pump. I love this pump. This pump has do has super light. It's done me wonders, y'all. All right, look at the damages of the school of the um tire from that nail. Let's see. All right. So obviously, we pre-slam our tires with this thing right here. Let me get it for y'all. We pre-slam our tires with flat out. I used to use armadillos, but armadillos is just like so hard to get. Meaning the whole um, I need to wait for shipping and you know, all that stuff. Now nah, I need this thing now. Um, obviously, you can't get armadillo tire sealing on Amazon, so I went with the next big thing, flat out. Let me know in the comment section if you guys use these before. Um, but yeah, I got this super cheap on Amazon, but. But you know we had a six a six six inch nail pierce through this tire, through this tire right here. Look, this tire is fairly new, man. Honestly, um, shout out to Sam, man. He he told me that I could use the same tire. I don't know if I could if I if I if that if that wise for me to use a use the same tire. Let me know in the comment section if I should use the same tire. But I just went ahead. I went to Bike Man in the Lower East Side. I got a brand new tube and a brand new tire. In total, I paid $60, man. I got gypped. And I know I saw it on Amazon, but I need this thing now, you guys. I need it now for you guys. You want to make that review. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. Can I still use this tire? Let's see if we could find that big ass hole from the six, six, six inch nail. I'm studying all over the place, you guys. I'm, my bad, y'all. Like, I'm super tired right now. Let's see. Now, nah, I'll be at 87 and Madison from 12, from 3 to 5. That's on NYCP EV that you're going tomorrow? Damn, but where's this hole at? Let me see. I know it was like one of the, in the inside the groove. That happened. Let's see. Nope. Should be wearing gloves, you guys, for this thing. But I packed. I packed all my tools and accessories. Oh, there it is. I fit to you right there. Yup, that's it right there. Can you guys see that? Is this Frontier? Yeah, you can use the same tire. If the threads are good. Yeah, the threads are good, but inside the thread, there's a hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. That's the hole right there. It looks like a one-eighth hole. So, yeah, I was pretty, like, worried about using the same, um, no sound. If the threads are good. Yeah, the threads are good, but... Oh, right there. It looks like the, you guys can see that one eight hole. That's the hole right there. It looks one. Check one two. So Fendi says no sound. But I I'm, I just monitor, I just could hear. Anybody else experience the same thing? Let me know. Shut up, Sam, man. I don't get the beef, but only PEV and Madison told me about it. The Brooklyn location don't care. Man, as long man, I don't as long as the beef ain't with me, I'm good, you guys. Duh, I paused the video. <laughs> Come on, bro. You ruin it. You ruin the, the the system here, Fendi. Alright, man, look. So you guys saw that hole right there? Look, Sam man. Let me show you the hole right here. If you're still on Sam man, let me show you this. This damn hole, man! Now I lost it. I should have, I should have like, 
market, so it will be easier for me to to find. It's right on these grooves right here. Let me show you, Sam, man. There it is. Boom. That's the hole right there. That's the hole right there. Um, it's a, it's about one eighth of an inch. Right there, but the grooves are nice though. But I was really worried. But I, I was asking the guys from Bike Man in the Lower East Side, um, but they took me, they took me up on a roller coaster. They were like, "Oh, I don't know. You, you should like always get a new tire if you could catch a puncture and woo." But this is. The tube. All right, I'm gonna inflate it. Let's see how bad it is. Hopefully, no, no, no tire slime comes out. And obviously, we get the flat out right there. All right, let's inflate it. So what I learned is, you guys, I thought this was two point two point one, ten by two point one something, ten around there, but it's, it turns out to be ten by two point five. Yeah, but it's not horrible. The tube holes and the air I've had worse in my nine ball max after hitting glass. All right, cool. All right, we got our favorite pump right here. Let's inflate this bad boy. By the way, this live stream came out of the blue, you guys. I was not expecting us to go live, man. All right. Let's see. Not, this is like a science experiment right here, y'all. Live, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. All right, let's stop right there. All right, cool. By the way, these are pre-slime. By the way, so we gotta we gotta see we gotta see if it works though with the flat out. Oh, maybe flat out will sponsor us too. All right, let's let's keep going. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at the flat out coming out. Look at the slime. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Look at all that slime coming out. Damn, look at that. Man, I did not put enough slime. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually... It went right through. It went right through the, um, the tube, you guys. Cause there's an I feel another stab wound right here and right where right where my thumb is there's a stab wound and also right where my finger is there's another stab wound so it went right through yeah there was no saving this tire at all this tube at all now it gets me worried I did clean and observe the split rims that tube is trash <laughs> yeah man. It's done. Let me know in the comment section whoever wants this. <laughs> nah, I'm joking you, y'all. I'm joking with y'all. Damn, bro. But I honestly don't think flat out works as well, man. Cause I'm I was expecting like little beads and and um, what's that thing called? Um, man, I forgot the name. Kevlar, Kevlar. But it's just pure goo. I don't know. Maybe I will have better luck with armadillos, probably. I, I'm not sure, man. But, you know, flat out was a good price on Amazon. But there was no way of saving me from a six-inch nail. But, yeah, y'all. Um, that tube is trash. <clears throat> Look at the multi-tool that they gave us, too. This is a cool-ass multi-tool. It works, but you have to let it sit on the puncture wound. If you pour some on a table, you can see the fiber. All right, cool. I did, I did kind of see a little bit of fiber, though. 
but mostly of gooey stuff. It was like liquidy. But yeah, y'all, um, it's time, it's time we got the scooter back. I'm running. Um, we are, hopefully, I get to test that out tomorrow morning. Hopefully, it turns out to be good. Let me know in the comment section, should I put flat out tire on it? Flat, flat out um, slime in it? Or should I just wait until I test it out and everything is good? And then I could put this slime back in. I don't know what should I, what should I do, you guys. No ceiling will help on the inside puncture because as you ride, the ceiling is pushed to the outside. Yeah, true. But I don't think I put enough on it because there was no like I did not see like hardly any trace of the. Of the slime. Obviously, you got right here the measuring. How much you could put on. But I don't know if I should put it in slime now or way after the test ride. But I think I'm going to just hold off, you guys, because I'm super exhausted right now. You guys want to see something cool? Let's check out the um, turning signals. I'm going to turn it off for you guys. I love the turning signals on these. I believe it takes a quite a bit of that stuff. I think I put, I don't think I put eight ounces. I think I put like five or, or four. I think I messed up on that. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more once this test ride tomorrow morning. I don't know, but I did forget to torque strike these. Pink is my favorite color, y'all. Let's torque stripe these. Boom. By the way, you guys, these were super easy to remove. I was surprised. I was like, wow, these came out like butter. Let's torque stripe this one as well. As long as the scooter looks safe, I don't mind at all. Superstar, try no ceiling and just stick to the recommended air pressure and see how see how flat protection is is stock. I pour about four ounce and run at fifty psi. Check pressure every day and keep the right range for no pinch or flats. Man, I check my tires every week, not daily, but I think I might have to be doing that. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna end the live stream. Um, while we had about. 12 or 15 people joining us right out the blue. It was out of nowhere. Um, I think I'm going to head out, you guys. I'm going to take this scooter off the kitchen table. I mean, the kitchen chair. You see, you guys, I'm freaking exhausted. I don't even want to show, show myself on cam. I look like a hot mess right now, y'all. But, yeah, um, Rick and I, we're going to be in Mini Motors in the Chinatown area tomorrow. We're going to be filming. Um, you know, man, I am super exhausted. We gotta next week is the unboxing of this bad boy. And we gotta put this scooter to the test on doing Uber Eats, vlogs, roaming around the city, like I said last last night. Alright, y'all. 